Hello and welcome to Narrowboat Chef. In our freshly painted kitchen. kitchen. It's, it's so very white. It's so very white. <laughs> but we are extremely pleased with it. It mm. looks so much better. It looks so much better on camera. <laughs> so much easier to light. Yes. So hopefully you enjoy it as much as we do. <laughs> So this is our first recipe that we are cooking in our newly painted kitchen. Uh, we haven't actually done a recipe for a couple of weeks now, mainly because we were focusing mm. on painting, letting it dry, getting everything put back. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, but we are back now with our regular mm. weekly recipes that you all love and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so today on the menu, we are doing pulled jackfruit burgers. The main reason we're doing pulled jackfruit burgers, and if you don't know what jackfruit is, it's a fruit that has a very similar consistency to pulled pork. Pulled pork. Once you start tearing it apart, it has a very similar consistency to pulled pork. And vegans use it as a substitute for a lot of kind of like stringy meats that you would normally have in certain dishes. Yes, this was a tin that was on Mum and Dad's boat, and we totally stole it. But <laughs> we did have permission because they need to use up the stocks that yeah. are on their boat because they aren't going to get back to their boat with all the <laughs> pandemic the, the stuff pandemic before going on. it all goes off. So. Yeah, so we were trying to just trying to get through as much of their semi-perishables and that as we could. Yes, so that's why we are making jackfruit Jack burgers. burgers. <laughs> So let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Yes, I'm so excited to be cooking in our <laughs> new white kitchen. We won't have to have like three or four different torches and lights up everywhere. <laughs> uh, so we're using a tin of jackfruit. So usually for most of the recipes that use jackfruit as a substitute for meat, they use a young jackfruit rather than the mature one because there's less flavor to it and it pulls apart and it's more fibrous. So you get that texture in that. If you're using fresh jackfruit, you'd have to cook it, boil it to soften it, but you don't have to worry about it for the tin stuff. So we're just gonna crack it over in the tin and just drain it to get the extra fluid off and then we'll start pulling it apart. So once our jackfruit's drained, you'll get these nice big chunks and all you do is just kind of use your clean hand to just to break it apart. You can use a fork to do this, but I just find it easier just kind of squishing it with my fingers. As you squish it, some more moisture will come out of it. So once this is done, we'll drain it off again. I missed a bit. <laughs> yep, so we're Wasting just... a jackfruit. <laughs> so we just drain off the rest of this jackfruit. I'll leave our pulled jackfruit in the strainer for a few minutes to finish draining that extra fluid off and while that's draining I'll cut up some onion, a nice red onion. I'm going to slice up half a red onion for our burgers. So I'm going to start by taking the core out and then just doing a, a fairly thin but not too thin slice. If you'd like to have some tips and knowledge about how to do some cuts, we have a video about how to do some basic vegetable cuts, our masterclass series that we're starting. We'll put a link somewhere around. <laughs> somewhere on the screen. <laughs> Maggie will do that. <laughs> so we'll start with a hot pan for cooking. We'll just put a, a decent slosh of oil in for the onions. Cook the onions until they start browning around the edges. Then add a teaspoon of butter or margarine. So I've cooked my onions and they're slightly browning on the outside. They're still not softened all the way, but at this point I'm going to add my jackfruit in and start tossing it through my jackfruit. I cooked the jackfruit for about a minute longer and then I added a teaspoon of barbecue seasoning. Then I stirred it through. So I've tossed my spice mix through my jackfruit and onions. 
and I've stirred it for about another minute or two. And now I'm going to add just a basic Heinz classic barbecue sauce into it to get that stickiness through it. But you can choose a different barbecue sauce if you like, a smoky one or something maybe. So it's about three tablespoons of the barbecue sauce. We just want enough to coat it and make it all nice and sticky. There you go, it's pretty much ready to pop into burgers. Now I'm just getting my burger garnish ready, my salad and that to go on the burger. Just gonna thinly slice some tomato. Gonna thinly slice some cheese. Can't have burger without cheese. <laughs> well, on this boat you can't have much without cheese. <laughs> Now I have my burger garnish ready, it's time to build the burger. So I'm going to use about a quarter of my jackfruit mix on each of the burgers and this recipe will make four burgers. There you have it, that's our pulled jackfruit burger. If you would like the recipe for our pulled jackfruit burgers, don't forget to check the link down in the description below. That will go to our website, which has all of our recipes on it. If you do make it, send us pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to go and have this now. Mm. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.